Hey there, Vanelli here from Photofocus.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop's new Select Subject tool to quickly extract both a simple and complicated subject to create a composite. As a bonus, I'll also show you how to use the tool in your general workflow. Let's get started. I created a folder with two images. The first one's a simple select, and the second one's going to be a little bit more complicated. From here, once we select and extract the subject from the background, we'll use it for our composite. Now from here, make sure that you have the select tool on your toolbar selected, and that's going to have the new select object feature appear. We'll select it. Photoshop's going to take a couple seconds. It's going to analyze the image. And because this was on a simple black background, and you can definitely see where the edges begin and the background ends, it made a really quick selection. I'm going to uh, click on Select and Mask, and Photoshop made an incredible selection for me. Now, if I want to further enhance this, I'll come over to the radius, and I'll add two pixels to it. Um, I'm going to shift the edges just a little bit to about minus 5%. This will make it nice and tight, and I want to put it on its own layer. And once I'm done, just click OK, and the selection is made. Now, before we finish off the effect, let's select the more complicated one where the background and the subject isn't clearly defined. If we apply the Select Subject tool again, what's going to happen here is it's not going to have enough information to extract it properly, and we're not going to get the desired results. I'll make a duplicate of the layer by pressing Command or Control J, and now that it's on its own layer, I'm going to create an adjustment layer, and I'll select Levels. And from here, with the level selected, I'm going to really crank this up to where I get a really good separation from the background. Now, I don't care what the subject looks like because I'm not going to use this image. What I am going to use is the selection. Good, so that looks good right about here. I'll merge those two layers with Command or Control E. And now that they're merged, now let's come back up and do the selection. Photoshop did a pretty good job, but I still have to tweak it. So I'm going to select the lasso tool. And what I'm going to do is come back over. And the areas here that I want to add to the selection, pressing the Shift key, I'll select. And just tighten it up just a bit. Good. Now for this area right in here, I can come over to the Magic Wand tool. Pressing Alt or Option, I'll just select in this area here. So to clean up this complicated area, it's just going to be a mixture of using the different selection tools to select the areas that you don't want. Now that we have the selection made, instead of applying that selection to this layer, let's apply it to the bottom layer. So I'm going to hide this layer here, and I'm going to make sure I have my selection tool selected. Now from here, select and mask. Now the selection was applied to our main image. Now there's a couple areas here that we could tweak. So just like we did before, we'll just come in here and we'll clean up some of these areas and then we'll apply it to the new layer. Now when we're done making our final selects, just press OK. To tidy up the subjects folder, let's just delete that one layer we don't need. So here's the, the new select with a simple one and here's the more complicated one. Now that we have this selected, I'm going to click on Subject, and I want to create a Smart Object. I did this because I only want to apply this special effect one time. Now I'm going to select both layers, and once again, I'm going to create another Smart Object. So now what just happened was I took the subject and the background and made them into one layer. If I double click on it, you'll see that we're back to where we started. We have the subjects here, and then we have our layer here. Now this right here is called a PSB, and that stands for Photoshop Big, and that tells me that this is a smart object. So we close out of this. Now that we're here, this is where I'm going to apply my smart filters. So I'll come over to Filter, and we'll use Luminar. 
to make life easier, I'm going to use a built-in preset. So I'll come over to Dramatic, and I really liked the grunge look. Now from here, I'll dial it back just a touch. Now from here, I can make further adjustments. I can create a new layer. And then let's say on this layer, um, I can add a vignette to it. If I wanted to, I can come back in and let's say desaturate this just a touch. And when I'm done, just click apply. Now the filter is applied to my image. Now notice if I double click on the subject again, the effect isn't in the smart object. The effect is actually on the final image here. I'll just double click on the smart object again and I'll come down and I'll select that image. Once I hit save, you'll notice it comes back and now that image is replaced. The original image has the same effect still because the smart object wasn't saved. Now once I save the smart object, it's going to apply the effect to our main image. Now once I close the smart object and return back to the main image, you'll see that the effect is now applied to the new image and I didn't have to recreate it. Now that was a great example on how to extract the subject to make the composite. Well now as that bonus that I talked about, what I want to do here is instead of extracting her from the background, I want to use that new special tool to help me with my workflow. So what I want to do is add a couple stars to the background here. And using Adobe Stock, I just grabbed a couple of these images. And let's do exclude, dial it back just a bit. Right about there. I'll duplicate the image. Now when I transform it, I want to flip it horizontal and put it right in the place. Great. I'm going to merge these two layers together using Control or Command E and I'll apply a layer mask and using a soft brush I'm going to come around and erase the effect on the bottom Good. Now here's where we're going to use that select tool. So if you notice, I have the stars on our subject. So I'm going to select the subject layer, make sure my selection tool is selected. Now when I select select subject, Photoshop is going to select the subject for me, but I don't want to ex extract it. So I just want to use this selection, paint the stars out on the subject. And I'm going to come across. Great. Control or Command D to deselect. Now in these areas here, I'll just use 50% opacity. And then I'm going to paint out the effect on the areas I don't want the stars to appear. Let's put a photo filter on it. And we'll select blue. There we go. I could use one of my favorite plugins, such as Luminar, to finish off the effect. So those are just two examples on how we can use Photoshop's new select objects to either extract an image from the background or just use it as a tool to select the image for masking. Well, I'm Vanelli with PhotoFocus. Thanks for watching.